My name is Eric Stamper. I'm the uh, founder of Veterans Initiative 22 and the owner of the Maryland Hemp Exchange. Hemp is something that we've used historically um, in this nation for a lot of products. There's over about 30,000 products that can be made from hemp, hemp plastics, and um, there's also a medical side of hemp as well, but uh, our, our purview is the industrial um, program that we're looking to engage here in Maryland. Industrial hemp is, like I said, it's been around for a long time. Um, in 1937, started a, a world of prohibition against uh, hemp. Um, that's when the stigma started. Cotton was coming online real heavy at the time. Um, and so it was a, a major push from the cotton industry, as well as the pharmaceutical industry, to diminish the ability and capability of hemp. Um, you know, it's been used since the beginning of time. Our, our forefathers grew hemp on their farms, George Washington, and you know, they grew hemp for you know personal purposes and uh, for industrial as well. The Declaration of Independence, the rough drafts of the independence was written on hemp paper. Um, back in World War II, there was a major push called Hemp for Victory. That's when uh, we re-engaged, or the government re-engaged farmers to grow hemp for um, military purposes, for uniforms for sales and for rope for ships and, and, and what have you. So, and then again, the government shut it back down right after World War II. And uh, now it's a new dawn of an, of an industry. So hemp is back on the market. Uh, this year was the first year in Maryland. This year, uh, Maryland farmers, there were about 66, 65 farmers that grew about 1,400 acres of hemp. Uh, out of that, only one farmer uh, grew about 20 acres of the industrial hemp. That's kind of our purview. Um, and that, that's kind of what we're hoping to do is engage with our existing farmers in the state that are doing corn, soy, or other tangible, sustainable crops and trying to get them to migrate to uh, an industrial, new sustainable ag program. And that's, uh, that's hemp. There's a lot of things happening across the, the globe right now. China is like number one producers of hemp and they're exporting all across the world. Um, other countries are, are soon following and I think with the economic problems we have in America, there's a lot of agriculture problems here in America. I think this revolution might get our farmers back to work and maybe make it a little bit more money and uh, creating a new industry here.